Amazon is the biggest retailer in the entire world. So if you want to buy a gaming PC from there, this is the perfect video for you. I will show you the best gaming PCs from Amazon for all budgets and also for all resolutions, 1080p, 1440p and 4K. And trust me when I say that some of these deals are the best deals I've ever seen on pre-built PCs. The good thing is that Amazon has an excellent customer service and the only bad thing is that if you don't have enough PC knowledge, you can end up buying a bad PC. But that's what I'm here for. I will also show you the level of performance that you can get with each of these systems. That way you understand the gaming system that you're getting and all the links to these PCs will be down below in the video description. With that being said, let's start. First, I'm going to start with the SkyTech Nebula and this is the best PC in my opinion for under $1,000. I've been mentioning this previous PC in most of my previous PC videos. If you've been here for a while, you would know. And the reason why is because it's excellent in terms of price to performance. This one has the RTX 4060 alongside the i5-13400F and you can expect around 90 plus FPS on average at 1080p high to ultra settings in high demanding titles and I'm talking about games like Cyberpunk 2077, The Last of Us Part 1, Starfield and very high demanding games overall. If you want to play easier to run games like GTA 5 for example you can expect way higher FPS and if you want to play esports shooters then you can expect 240 plus FPS on average so if you want to buy a 240Hz 1080 monitor, this PC is going to be ideal if you do not want to spend over a thousand dollars. Now there are PCs from Amazon that are even cheaper than this and those systems are going to be in the description as bonus PCs. Anyway here you get a one terabyte NVMe SSD and 16 gigs of RAM. For the price, amazing system. You can also play at 1440p 60 plus FPS on average, high to ultra settings depending on the game and also if you are going to turn on the LSS which is the NVIDIA upscaler you are going to be achieving higher FPS at 1440p. 1440p ultra settings. Moving up in price, we have the Empower PC for $1,250 and this one has the last gen RTX 3080 which is still one of the best graphics cards when it comes to 1440p resolution and then you get the Ryzen 7 5700X which is going to be a really nice CPU to pair with the RTX 3080 and it's not going to bottleneck our GPU which is the most important thing. When it comes to gaming performance, the 3080 can handle 1080p ultra settings in high demanding titles at 120 plus FPS on average and if you higher the resolution to 1440p you can expect 90 plus FPS on average and very similar performance compared to the RTX 4070 and RX 7800 XT so at this price point I don't think you can get a better system than this one on Amazon especially since you are going to be getting an amazing 1440p gaming performance. Then at 4k you can expect around 60 plus FPS on average depending on the exact game that you play and depending on the settings but you are getting a system that's perfect for any resolution 1080p 1440p or 4k depending on the game at the moment of recording there are only five left in stock so maybe when you're watching this is not in stock anymore and for that reason i will leave an alternative in the description as well then you get 32 gigs of ram which is going to be amazing not only for gaming but also for streaming and content creation 500 gigs of ssd and a 2 terabyte hard drive moving up in price we have this SkyTech Kronos with the same Ryzen 7 5700X but this time you get the RTX 4070 instead of the RTX 3080. Now the 4070 is a slightly slower than the 3080 when it comes to rasterized performance but the reason why I recommend this one instead of the last one is because the 4070 is newer so you get a newer architecture and it has 12 gigs of VRAM instead of 10 gigs of VRAM which is going to be helpful if you want to play at 1440p ultra settings but anyway at 1440p you can still expect 90 plus FPS on average because it's really similar in terms of performance to the RTX 3080. Another pro here is that you get a liquid cooler in a 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler which is going to be helpful if you want to upgrade your CPU down the line. Now the price for this one is 1400 bucks so a bit more expensive than the last one but in my opinion it's worth the price difference mainly because you get the 4070 which is newer, more power efficient and performs about the same as the 3080 and it has more VRAM. Moving up in price this one is quite more expensive and I'm talking about the CyberPower PC game Extreme VR. This one has an i7 14700KF, which is one of the fastest CPUs when it comes to gaming in the entire market, which by the way is liquid cooled, so temps are going to be perfect. And then for the graphics card, you get the RTX 4070 Super. The 4070 Super is faster than both the 3080 and the 4070 from the last system. At 1440p high to ultra settings in high demanding titles, you can expect well over 100 FPS on average, and then you can expect around 60 to 70 plus FPS on average at 4K depending on the 
game and the settings. Now, if you're going to play at 4K, you are probably going to be turning on DLSS if you are going to be playing high demanding titles, which once again is the upscaler for NVIDIA and you will be getting faster FPS at 4K if you turn that on. So with this system, you are getting an overall amazing PC for any resolution, high FPS, under $2,000. Before going into the next one, if you are enjoying the video so far, leave a like and subscribe. It will help the channel a lot. So if you end up doing that, thank you so much. Then if you have more than $2,000 to spend and you want a 4K ultra gaming experience, first we have this iBuyPower Y40 Black Gaming PC. This one is $2,300 and it comes with the RX 7900 XTX and the Ryzen 9 7900X. This CPU and GPU combo will allow you to play at 4K ultra settings with no issues. You can also play at 1440p if you want very high FPS, but I would recommend this system more for 4K than for 1440p. And it's actually the second fastest graphics card in the entire market right after the RTX 4090 in terms of rasterized performance, which means that you can expect around 90 plus FPS on average at 4K ultra settings or even faster if you turn on FSR, which is the upscaler from AMD. Here you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory instead of DDR4, a 2 terabyte NVMe SSD and overall an amazing system for 4K resolution gaming and you can also do content creation if you want because you get the Ryzen 9 7900X which is one of the fastest CPUs in the entire market when it comes to gaming and content creation. But then if you have more money to spend and you want even faster performance, you can get the SkyTech Legacy. This one is $2,800, so quite more expensive than the last one. But here you get the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, which is the fastest CPU in the entire market when it comes to gaming. And you get the RTX 4080 Super, which is very similar in terms of performance to the 7900 XTX from the last one, but it's faster when it comes to ray tracing performance. And you get the LSS, which is the better upscaler. FSR from AMD works fine at 4K. I don't have any issues with it, but DLSS has a better image quality. On top of that, NVIDIA works better with content creation applications for the most part, so if you are into that world, then this one is going to be a better option. You get 2TB of Gen 4 SSD and 32 gigs of DDR5 memory again, so amazing system for 4K resolution gaming, but also for content creation and productivity work. But then if you want the best of the best when it comes to gaming at 4K resolution, I recommend you getting this Azure PC, but this time you get the RTX 40 which is the fastest GPU in the market. Here you can expect well over 110 FPS at 4K resolution ultra settings and it's also the fastest graphics card when it comes to ray tracing performance in case you want to play with ray tracing enabled. Then you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, a 1TB Gen 4 SSD and a 1000 watt 80 plus gold power supply. Overall an amazing system, very expensive at $3400 but if you are looking for the best of the best and you just want to enjoy your system and not care about money then this one is ideal for you. But then if you have even more money to spend, especially if you are a professional creator, I recommend you this Bearstorm gaming system for $4,000, the most expensive PC on this list, but you get the i9-14900K, which is the fastest CPU in the market, in my opinion, in terms of gaming and productivity work together. So yes, the 7800X 3D is a slightly faster for gaming, but this one is much faster when it comes to productivity work and content creation. And then you get 128 gigs of DDR5 memory. This one for gaming is going to be worse than the last one, so I only recommend you buying this one if you are a professional content creator, because you get the 4080, which is amazing for creators, but for gaming is slower than the 4090, so if gaming is your main priority, go with the last one instead of this one. And then here you get a 2TB NVMe SSD and a 360 all-in-one liquid cooler, which is going to be much needed for the i9 14900K. And if you are looking for personal PC help, that's going to be the top link in the description where you can ask me anything regarding your situation and I will help you out finding the perfect PC for you, whether it's a pre-built PC or a PC build, it doesn't matter, I will help you out with your specific situation. If you want to see the best pre-built PCs of the month, not only from Amazon but also from other companies, which trust me when I say some of those PCs are better value than some of the gaming PCs that I mentioned today from Amazon, so those are the best systems overall for every budget and every resolution, you will have that video in the top right of the screen. And in the description you will have both bonus PCs for systems that are more expensive than this $4,000 PC, but also you will find systems that are cheaper than the first one, which was the cheapest system on this list. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, and I will see you on the next one.